Hello, this is Zerobyte. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick introduction to Zsound. Zsound is a set of audio libraries and conversion tools that I'm developing for the Commander X16. The X16 has a great set of audio capabilities with um, FM sound, PSG sound, and PCM sound. And the, each one of those has its own challenges that can be quite difficult to master if you're starting out on, on sound. And so I thought that it would be good for the community to have a set of tools that help them put sound in their applications. Um, so without further ado, here's a quick demonstration of the program doing its thing. And uh, this is basically a simple player implementation. It's in the examples for the library that I'm going to be releasing tonight. And uh, it's going to play Street Fighter with some digital sound from the from the game. And if you'll notice, the top right corner shows the CPU load while the oh, while the can... while the program is running. And I've spent a good bit of effort trying to optimize a lot of these things because I think speed is the main thing I want to focus on for for this library. And um, the, the basis for this is to use VGM as a, uh, a source of music, or at least as the inspiration for it. And uh, you, can, you can get a lot of VGM music from vgmrips.net, I think it is. Let's see. vgmrips.net, yeah. And um, you know, for example, Street Fighter 2 is what I was just playing. And... Uh, What's nice about this website is you can, you know, pick different, you know, whatever game you can find on there, but you can also click on the sound chips and find other other games and titles that use the same sound chip. And so there's a lot of music out here that you could put on the system, but obviously that's uh that's all, you know, things that that already exist, there's you know, potentially copyright people know those things and if you want something new then um, you would need to start from scratch from something and there is a tool for the for the chiptune community called called Deflamask that lets you uh, make make chiptune music including for the YM2151 like in the Commander X16 but the um, the but Deflamask not only does the YM2151 it lets you do Sega Genesis which the uh, Commander X16 has a good chance to do because not only does it have the six FM channels, but it has three PSG channels. So I wrote this tune for um, another project I'm working with somebody on for a City Connection game. And uh, this music is just going to be like the high score entry screen that I made at the end. <clears throat> and again, after um, you export it to, to uh, VGM, the Z Sound has a tool to import that to the Commander X16. So, uh, let's switch over to that. Um, I'm going to run this on Box 16, which is a great emulator, actually. It has a lot of debug capabilities. But here it is running again on that. And, uh, as you can see, it's running the three voices on the PSG here and on the um, FM synthesis. And the sound basically just plays back the the converted version of the VGM data on the system. And when the FM chip's not loading data, that's what most of these bursts are. The YM's a bit slow, or actually quite slow for uh, for loading, so that does that does cause one issue speed-wise, but the rest of the time it's pretty low um, overhead on there. And um, one of the other demonstration programs that I've got here with the with the um, Z Sound library is basically I built it like a shell to play in the background with basics. So let's uh, load that one. ZSMBG.prg. And what this does is you can load anything directly into memory and play it while you're running basic. And uh, as you see, I've got all these. All these um, music files here. So I'll start with uh, something from uh, something a little bit different. We'll say Rastan. 
which is um, uses the YM2151, but it was running at 4 megahertz instead of the 3.5 like on the Commander X16, so the conversion script actually um, does the uh, transposition so that the pitch is correct. And what I'm doing here is look the the module plays from a specific predetermined point in memory. So I'm going to load the ZSM into high RAM, bank number two, a thousand. And now that and uh, automatically loaded the program with the uh, with the emulator, and you run it. I'm doing sys eight thousand. Now the music plays in the background, and I can still do whatever. Um, one of the features of the the music player <clears throat> is I have a the ability to set the playback speed on music, and uh, the the assembly routine has a has a routine for that as well. But poking values into the registers is a bit cumbersome, so I wrote this little shell program to go with it. And you can set the speed here, and we'll set the the default speed is 60 hertz. It's no change, but if I set it to 70, we'll hear it speed up. And you can slow it down to um, 45, pretty much any speed. I mean, I could set it to a thousand, but we'll put it back to 60 for the default there. And then um, also have it where you can stop it by sys 8003. But let's load another one. Um, Another thing about the import script that I have, I'll, I'll show that in just a moment, um, is I support more than just the YM2151. As you saw earlier, I support the Sega Genesis. So, for example, Starlight is one that I built from Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, I forgot the comma. And Sys8000 to run that. And of course, you know, the playback speed will work on that as well. And we'll set that to 90. And um, of course, your program has access to all these things <clears throat> as well. One of the things I didn't leave the initial demo running long enough to show is that the library also sends callbacks whenever a tune loops or, or finishes so that your program can you know, play a different song, change speed, do a fade out. I haven't done volume fading yet, but that is one of the features I intend to implement later. And uh, so let me go ahead and pull up the GitHub repo on here. And it's um, github.com slash zero byte org slash Z sound. And the, the library is pretty small right now. If you look in the source, you see there's just a few files. It's built as three separate modules If you um, for these assembly routines. Right now, the, the library only supports assembly. I do intend to do a C wrapper for this as well, but I don't want to um, implement those just yet because I'm still making changes to the APIs on these these modules and that's basically you know two sets of code to change for everything that I do on that side so I'm gonna wait till it's a little bit more mature before I implement the C the C headers but the the library is broken up into three modules there's a PCM player which can play PCM sound effects you heard the uh, sure you can sound earlier um, ZFX is what I call the uh, sound effects files, and uh, that's the the least developed right now. That one just simply plays sound effects on demand, and that's it. I haven't implemented any of the callbacks for that. And ZSM Player, of course, is the, the module that we've been seeing the most right now. It's the most developed, and these are the different routines that are available for it. And uh, the way that it works basically is you init the player, and then you call start music, to start playing the song, and while it's playing, you can do things like um, set the callback, uh, clear the callback. Um, you can um, get music speeds; just tells you what the default speed of a song is, and you can um, force songs to loop if they don't have loops built in. You can set the looping behavior for infinite looping or loop just a set number of times and then stop. Of course, you can set the music speed and uh, 
stop music and what you have to do is once per frame you call play music which um and they also have play music irq if you want to call the music routine during irq you can using this it makes it um save the the states of vera and and the bank dram and things like that but it it's a lot slower and i recommend it that you call play music from the main part of the the, the loop of your program during the, the regular um <clears throat> time and not during irq because it can take a lot of time doing that and the interfaces for the pcm audio and the zfx are fairly similar and i've got basic documentation for all the the libraries right here in the include files so all you really need to do is build the library and then include those those files and uh, for example simple player this is the one that was playing the with the with the status bar that showed the uh the cpu load let's see simple player asm and basically you just include zsm player and PCM player for this one and uh, to start it up it's actually pretty easy um, let me find the start section in here that's gonna be down near the bottom I think yep I'm just not used to looking at it on the web but you just call the init for each of those and then um, load you know call load for the the music file and the PCM file and then um, you just uh, after those are loaded to play it all you gotta do is uh, oh where is it here and call start music you just load XY with the address where the, the ZSM music was loaded set A to be the bank that it's in and then call start music and then in the main part of the program, uh, let's see, that's going to be main right here. You'll just see that. Uh, just do a WAI for to wait for the IRQ because you know there's really nothing much hanging on, and uh, the IRQ just clears this semaphore so it knows it can continue. And you just call um, call play music and play PCM, and then some stuff to wait to only play that sound once but that's all it does it just loops through here and plays the music and um, then of course you know I've got the other other uh, examples here to see how to how to use the library and um, that's about it for now I'll go ahead and um, post this on the Commander X16 forums as well and uh, if you've got any questions you can send me a DM on the forums I'm also um, starting a a discord server for discussing the library if you've got feature requests or questions in using the library either i or anyone else in there once the once the discord gets some people you know um, showing up all the time then maybe we can uh we can come up with some extra features for that and if you're interested in how the uh the format works or anything like that you can uh, reach out to me thanks for watching